Criminally Stupid 13. Last week, we talked about Pedophile Dr. House, right? I forget his real yep. name, but that's what I'm going to refer to him as. So this week, we're just going to do some lighthearted chat logs again. It's from the olden days of 2001 or so, even before 9-11, and read you some. Mm-hmm. And Jackson, I sent you a list, so I'll let you pick you which did? one you would like to try. Yeah, in our private chat. All right. The links. Let's go. I'm feeling only on the phone. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Who do you want to be? <laughs> this is your favorite, Cyber on Wheels, by the way. Yeah, I'll be Cyber on Wheels. I'll get back into that. The character? Into your disability? Yeah. <laughs> With the leathery roof of your mouth and no lower jaw. Yeah, yeah. All the all the fucking injuries that it, she has. She was born without a like any of her lower face. She can't. She can't talk no good. All right. So I'm Cyber on Wheels, and you are mm-hmm. Choo Choo Jazz seventy two. Seventy two, which is probably his birth year, yeah. and this is from two thousand one again, July seventh, two thousand one. Getting a phone number always weighs heavily in whether or not I think it's postable, says the user. So Choo Choo Jazz 72 says, Hello, do you like phone numbers? Phones? Sex? Heck yeah! Are you alone? Always. <laughs> Call me. Okay. What's your name? Brenda. Oh, there's some we got some law here. I guess Cyber on Wheels' name is Brenda. Mhm. Um H Yours? Jeff. Read my profile, dummy, and then it's like a really goofy smiley emoji. Yeah, very old smiley. 12. Yeah. I don't want to go to jail. Why, why not leave the conversation immediately once you see 12? <laughs> like you're just opening it up for like some kind of something to happen there. Almost 13. Jail for phone sex? You are young. What are you, a pussy? <laughs> and then he gives his number, which I'm sure by now is fine. Yeah. 22 years later is 914 that was enough that was enough, that was yeah, enough immediately by the way. Just, just insulting him just insulting him yeah. like, well yep what are you pussy you know, I've been called a pussy my entire life this is the moment where I take a stand and do something completely uh, not pussy like and he's uh, that that is grooming a child apparently <laughs> and doxing himself stay the pussy. which is smart yeah as always do. 914 714 4845 not at all a pussy. <laughs> and then uh, Brenda sends a, like, a little goofy tongue out face, smiley face. Mm-hmm. Call me now. Let's get started here, and then I'll call so you can hear me come. I insist that it's all over the phone. I want to hear you. To a 12 year old. <laughs> Why do you want to hear a 12 year old babble? He, she, she. Why does he say I insist that it's all over the phone? She said, "It's it's a call." I don't. Um, I get, well, I assume I these idiots think insisted. that's safer somehow. There's no chat records on a phone call. You know, the phone company no, records saying, it all. Cyber on wheels never implied that it was be a real life thing. She says, "I'll call so you can hear me come." Oh, they're dumb. They're fucking stupid people. I don't know. Don't try to follow the threats of thought. Cyber on Wheels says. Why? I like it. Me too, but I want to find out about who you are first, silly. No, I like the mystery. The mystery is going to be why I didn't make you come unless you tell me about yourself. I am 24 and separated. Enough said. Oh God, he's already divorced. Cool. Yeah, he's also 24 and Andrew. already divorced. That was quick. Besides, I am waiting for something to download before I can get offline. Oh, yeah. So remember, this was back in the days where you had a modem where if you wanted to get a phone call, you had to disconnect your internet first. Yeah. So you can't download like an image and 
uh, get on the phone with pedophiles, unfortunately. Do you have any pics? I'll, it'll only be a few minutes. No, no pics, but I, I can tell you about me if you tell me about you. That's okay. What do you like? I like anal, bondage, giving oral but not receiving bad infections, hot candle wax. <laughs> infections? Yeah, from the chair. <laughs> and nothing else catches his attention that like, wait, you're 12 and you like bondage yeah. and hot candle wax? Anal, he just says, giving oral sex. No, no red flags at all. He just goes, oh. <laughs> wait, no, he's like, yeah, all, all this fucking hardcore shit, anal bondage, giving oral sex, hot candle wax. <laughs> and he focuses on the infections because he's like, wait, how's this going to affect me? You ain't going to get me sick, <clears throat> are you? Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> I, I can't cyber with someone with STDs. Yeah, um, bed sores and bleeding ulcerations. So, what are you into? Everything. What's the kinkiest? Anal with a girl and another girl behind me with a strap on. <laughs> oh, that is pretty kinky. Wow, how big is your ass? What do you mean? How much cock can you take? A whole one. You? <laughs> <laughs> a whole one. Not any size or anything. Just, yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that doesn't help. Cocks come in different sizes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need to introduce a cock unit. Like, yeah, a cock <laughs> unit, basically. There'll be metric, imperial, and cock. Nice. Mm-hmm. I can take lots in my ass because of the accident. Can't feel a thing. Too bad. Oh, he's so so charming. <laughs> so caring. Ever do a Voltaire's angry glove? What's that? Okay. You take a rubber gardening glove and smear it with paste. Then you rub sand into it and slowly force it into your partner's ass. That doesn't sound good to me. It hurts too much. The object is to make him cry or pee. Uh, I bet. It's a domination thing. What about Cleveland steamers? I don't know any weird shit. Oh, you just do normal shit. Yes. Like letting girls tool you in the ass with a plastic cock. Of course. Why didn't you just find a dude to do it? I don't like guys. Then don't turn around. (laughs) I just really love women, and that happens to feel good to me. Sure. Fuck you if you don't believe me then. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) I've never seen a a, uh, perp (laughs) fucking insult them. Fuck you, (laughs) stupid bitch. All right. She continues. Cyber on Wheels continues. Ever let a beautiful woman take a dump on your chest? I don't care. No. Why he's being a fucking baby? He didn't say no, by the way. He just said I don't care. He's being a fucking baby, an indignant baby. Mm-hmm. I believe you. No. You'd love it. I I know it sounds gross, but it's really sensual. You're turning me off. Well, at least he's not into scat. <laughs> I guess my, uh... my old man nurse Chad had me do it for him till he got fired. No, no, listen. Here's what he'd have me do. He'd finger my ass real nice till it was all loose. Then he'd drip hot candle wax up my ass till it formed a plug of sorts. Then he'd feed me nothing but tainted pork and draft beer for days. You're sick. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree with the fucking pedophile. <laughs> then he'd lay up and get sicker. Then he'd lay under me when I was ready to blow and pry out the wax, showering himself with wormy ass vomit. I'm sick, yes. I've been in the chair for three years now, but I'm sexy. Did you ever suck your own poop off the strap on? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you as long as you talk like that. <laughs> Wait, yeah, this is so weird. Like, I feel like. It doesn't matter if, like, she's talking about or not talking about. Now you know she's into that shit. Like, that that would be a turn-off for me if I knew, like, my partner is into that shit. Even if she never fucking, like, said it to me. 
Yeah, but also if you're looking for children, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, she doesn't group. even judge me for wanting to get pegged in the ass. She's done way nastier. Great, I struck the gold mine. But no, they got kind of like spooked off. Like, oh, woo. I want a naive child, not this. Yeah, but this this guy is like really indignant. He seems like offended. <laughs> well, because he basically got called gay. Oh, you don't <laughs> forget, like the strap on? Um. Wait, I was just we? telling oh. you some of the things I've done in case you in case in case you want to experiment. I think it's sexy that you enjoy homosexual type of sex, and I, <laughs> I thought I could broaden your horizons. <laughs> so, what do you want to talk about? Nothing. I just want to have phone sex. He just wants to hear a it's girl. It's almost know. done downloading. Yeah, true. It's almost done downloading. I just I want to know what kind of sex you want to have, so I don't make you mad again. Normal. Okay, here's a fantasy. I'm laying on my broken back, limp like a jellyfish when you walk in the door. You get on top of me, fuck me and leave. Normal enough? Yes. Or do you need something shoved up your ass like a truck stop uh, H slur before you can come? Fuck you. Ever cruise at adult bookstores? I mean, seriously? I gave you the wrong phone number anyway. I have no idea who that number was. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. If you if you were going to go around taking it up the fanny... Oh, man, I hate the word fanny. If you're going to go around taking it up the fanny, you may as well get a free cup of Joe or bus fare out of the deal. I'm trying to be friendly, <laughs> and you go flying off the handle. You have anger issues, huh? Maybe my nice lips wrapped around your pretty cock would help? Kissy face? Yes. Kissy emoji? Yes. Lay back and take down your pants. No. Why is he saying no? I don't know. Why did he say yes and then no to that? What the fuck? This guy's all over the place. Feel the blood flow into your cock as I tongue your beautiful bag. Yes. I rub my hand over your hard ass cheek as I suck your cock. Over the phone only. My hand slips and vanishes inside your gaping <laughs> Hitchler ass. Fuck you. I pull out a guy's phone number and an old work boot. Then I find a cordless drill, a baby, and your brother's picture. I don't know what that means. <laughs> then the person disconnects. You love that one. I shows my hand disappears in your ass. Or vanishes, rather. I don't know why that caught me <laughs> off guard. I love it when these guys just admit to everything, including wanting to have sex with children. But when you call them gay, that's the final line. Like, no. Look, I may be a pedophile, but a homosexual, fuck you. It's like, well, yeah. buddy. <laughs> but a lot of the ones in the show are gay, though. Like, they go after, like, uh, you know, young boys as well. Yeah, no, very clearly. If- they just get so fucking offended by the fact of it in itself. That when the girl points it out, like, are you, a little, are you into dudes? They go, no, fuck you. Kill yourself. Um, yeah. Let's see, I'll pick the next one. Have we done shop class? Uh, no. I don't do think it. we have done shop class. All right, let's do shop class. Oh, and I'll why be... is it green? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? This time I'll be a uh, debater. You can be the pedo. Okay. This says shop class. I tried to sound like an intellectual while spelling Pontius Pilate's Pontius, P-O-N-C-H-A-S. Completely misspelled. Fortunately, as dumb as I am, I can still usually bluff a pedo. And this is from 9th of June, 2021. Uh, sorry, 2001, actually. So Shaggy says, sorry, that's you. Uh, <laughs> I'm so used to D playing the cyber? bad guy. Did you read my profile? Yeah, I'm 21. Oh, it's still, yeah, it's still me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 21 and horny as shit. So you want a cyber? Then why did you ask if I cyber if you already read my profile that specifically says I like to cyber? Are you a moron? No, I, I was just checking because a lot of people say that and don't. Oh, okay. So do you want to? So tell me about yourself, Tits McGee. I'm six foot two, 225, dirty blonde hair, blue eyes, built. I go to a tech school for computers. Anything else you would like to know? 
Tell me more. I love to learn about people and then suck their cocks. Well, what else would you like to know? Where do you live? What's the last book you read? I live in vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it actually says vagina. I didn't misread that. <laughs> it does. I live in vagina. Adventures of Huck Finn. What's your favorite part of fucking 13-year-old girls? Well, that's a bit forward. <laughs> <clears throat> that I know they're not dirty and they scream loud. Ew. Did you find that Tom Sawyer to be Pontius Pilate type figure and Injun Joe to be a metaphor for death and reawakening? Mm, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't finished the book yet. Really? Elaborate on what you've discerned thus far and after I'll, t I'll let you fuck my splatter gasket. Ugh. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> well, I got into the part where Jim and Huck are going down the Mississippi and pick up two con artists. Talking literature makes my pussy steam like a vapor maker. Cool. Are you horny enough to start the saba? Because I know I am. I was trying to figure out what the fuck KU means. I guess it is cool. I think it's like cool. Yeah, cool. cool. Yeah, like Cartman <laughs> says it. Cool. Now... First, I want to know what parallels you found the author to be making to the social and political climate of the day. Then I want you to tool my fuckbox like a retarded monkey. Hmm. I think he's saying how people just need to learn that what color you are shouldn't matter when it comes to friends and society as a whole. You ready now? Wow. How old are you? 21. And you're just getting around to Huck Finn? You must have been real busy the last 10 years, huh? Anyway, let's cyber. <laughs> no, I read it in high school, but I, I wanted to read it again because I wasn't paying much attention in that class. Okay, you start. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why would you pick? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is perfect. Dumb book to pick. But let's cyber in German. Oh, oh, that is so good that you chose the decoy then. Um, I don't know German. Aber beklecker nicht das Sofa. Fich mich, du miserable Hurensohn. What? Da. Da. Please, speak English. Schweinker, utter mein Glommen fair. Uh, please. That's not proper German, obviously, by the way. Oh, well. What yeah, other what, language? What does it translate to? Wait, what does it translate uh, to? So, aber beklecker nicht das Sofa means don't spill it on the sofa. And then it's, uh, well, I think it's supposed to be fuck me, you miserable son of a bitch. And then that last one, I have no idea. Schwinker uten mein Glommenhefe is not German. Um, okay, you just oh, well. slapped on the keyboard then. Well, what other language do you speak? If you're stupid, we could settle for Spanish. Latin, perhaps. Nope, I haven't been out of high school for three years and haven't spoken to any in a while. How about English? I want you to fuck my ass, but I'm tired of just typing, oh yeah, fuck my ass. Boring. Make it interesting or I'm going to have to find some sadistic kraut to corn pile me in the tongue of the fatherland. <laughs> I want you... These are, are these, am I crazy or are these getting collected like progressively worse? I don't feel like the first few were... As gross as these ones have been. Am I crazy? Um, I mean, this one's not as bad as the last the one. Few. Yeah. Well, the nastier, the funnier to me. All right, yeah. I want you... <laughs> fuck. I want you to stick two fingers... Wait, what? No, it's not two fingers. I want you to... St I want you to stick four fingers in your pussy and start masturbating. Tell me how it feels. Boring. Straight to four fingers. Fucking jam your whole fist in there. Then I'll make it worth your while. How does that sound? I can put a shoe in there and still rattle it around like a spray paint can. Do what you want. Just make it real sexual and tell me how you're doing it. And I'll make it worth your while. How's that? He keeps spelling while. Yeah. Wild. Okay. Hold. Start when you're ready. Start jerking off and I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Okay, let's say we're in shop class. Okay. 
Mr. Ungerwild is the teacher, but he's drunk again and passed out under the desk. Uh, okay. The whole room reeks of urine and it's making me hot. Uh, okay. I'm showing you how to build a bird cage. Okay. I did most of the work for you because I saw that you were still reading Huck Finn at 21 and I assumed you were a special student. <laughs> Lol, okay. <laughs> I'm real hot, so I decide to get naked. Okay. Do you like my breasts? Oh, hell yeah. I tell you, we can't fuck till after you finish your birdcage. Okay. I've told you this every day for a month, but you're a numbskull and can't figure out how to tie your own shoes. Okay. <laughs> I get frustrated and put, you, put your head in a vice. I clamp it real tight so you can't move. That, that's gonna hurt. I pull down your pants and caress your hairy balls. Yes, it's going to hurt. Ooh. But sometimes you need a little pain in order to learn a lesson. I know. Keep going. I gently pull your balls back between your legs and tuck them up your ass pipe. Okay. <laughs> I get down in front of you, your beautiful cock staring me right in the face. Okay. I open my mouth in the perfect O, like a blow-up doll. Okay. Kellyanne, what the fuck do you think you're doing? It's Mr. Ungerwild. He's awake and surly. Okay. <laughs> he steams over to our workbench and grabs me by the hair. Okay. I don't feel like I'm doing much. <laughs> <laughs> he lays me down on the table, puts a fresh coat of three-in-one oil on my potato and slams his fist so far up my cunt I can nibble the hairs <laughs> on his knuckles. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. You squirm to protect me, but he catches you. He cuts off your hands with a bandsaw so you cannot free yourself. <laughs> um, ouch, that's gonna suck in the future. No more jerking off, lol. <laughs> Why is he so jovial? <laughs> he takes your balls that are pulled between your legs and yanks them. Ow! He plants one foot on your ass and pulls your balls with two hands till they tear free. He's a big bear-like man with foul breath and thick spectacles. Okay. The sight of blood spurting from out where your balls used to be sends him spinning into a frenzy. I bet. He pulls out his cock and it looks like an Irish shalale, all twisted and naughty, a foot long if an inch. Okay. It's got... It's got an extra head on the side of it. Ew, lol. Not a penis head, an angry baby head with bad teeth. Lol. He grabs onto your spine with a three-pronged gardening claw and champs his whole cock into your waiting rectum without even giving a moment to pray or scream out. You beg him to stop, but at the same time, you're enjoying it. Uh, are you masturbating? You have always wanted man cock in your ass, but you were too scared to admit it. In a way, yes I am. How are you masturbating? Did you come already? I am masturbating with my right hand fully wrapped around <laughs> my cock. <laughs> Not yet, that made me stop for a sec, but I'm continuing now. Mm, cool. Tell me what you'd do to me if I were there. Well, I'd bend you over. And ran my dick in your ass as hard as I could and hold on to your hips so I don't pull out. What would you do to me if I was there? Wait. I think I just wrote an entire novel. You give me one sentence and try to lob it back into my court? Fuck you, you selfish prick. Give me something to jack <laughs> off to. My dick is hard too, you know. And remember to include the bald spots on either side of your head <laughs> from where the apes tore your head out of the vice. And the guy that's good. That one, uh, yeah, <laughs> that one was a lot of you. I was just there for the ride. Yeah, I chose the fucking easy, uh, difficult one for some reason. At least you could accurately do the German. Yeah, but I still, I like more interaction with the person themselves, not just talking yeah, yeah, at them. Definitely. Do we have any yeah. more cyber on the wheels? Oh, okay, let's do cystic colitis. Oh, and naturally, you. you will be. <laughs> 
once. I'll be Brenda, Cyber on Wheels. Yes, and the note says, You bastards voted my cowboys and Indians right off the site. That means you get more wet, sloppy poop baits, bastards. 18th of June. This, this person's fucking insane. Who is Cyber on Wheels? Oh, I think it's just Duck Stanhope again. Oh, uh, is it? I could be wrong. Okay. It's Brenda. Anyway, sweet single guy 18 says, Is 19 too young? It is when your name says you're 18. I know. I made the screen name last year. I'm, I bend the rules for everyone but lies. My name is Dan. Well, then you need to update. I have an updated one. Hi, Dan. What's your name? Brenda. Oh, I like that continuity between chat locks. He has yeah, one yeah, persona yeah. that he actually settled on. I actually went to Cyber on Wheels uh, profile on the baiting.org <laughs> website and the name is Brenda. It says name Brenda Yelvington, but also it says played by Stanhope. So yeah, it is Stanhope. Oh, okay. Played by, like this is such a classy Shakespearean yeah, play. It, it's like a, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a theater play. Created and directed by Stanhope. Um, cute. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. How are you doing? I guess when you read my info, you were strictly concerned with the cyber and not my name, which is clearly written at the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't carefully read it. I did now, though. Tell me something, Dan. Yeah? Anything. What's the strangest sexual experience you've, at, you've had? <clears throat> hmm. Well, I ate a girl out in a movie theater. Couldn't afford popcorn? Lol, I could, just didn't want any. Wink. Winky face. Ever do an Emerson sausage finder? No. Or tool a <laughs> What is it for the slot pipes? Fuck. Or tool a girl in the slot pipe? Hello? I guess someone is out of his league. No girl has ever tried to please me. Oh, what? Aww. Well, <laughs> that, <laughs> wait, that he said he was sad. 19. He's yeah, 19. I guess, but, yeah, but if you're right. eating pussy in the movie theater, you deserve some reciprocation. Oh, yeah, true. Well, take off your pants, get a tube of toothpaste, a rubber glove, some hydrogen peroxide, a razor, a funnel, and make sure any pets are kept <laughs> out of the room. At least for now. I'll wait here. Uh... Oh, wait, that was oh, me. Wait. Oh, fuck. Okay, damn it. I'm retarded. At least Sorry. for now, I'll wait here. Do you have a pick? No, do you? No, sorry. What do you look like? Did you get all that stuff? Tell me what you look like and I'll go and get it all. <laughs> How hard is hydrogen peroxide to get? Is that easy isn't to that get? The, isn't that the stuff you put like on cuts and scrapes? I think it's pretty easy and common. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, I look like the girl that played the waitress in the movie Curly Sue with Jim Belushi. Could you describe yourself, please? She's only in that one scene and didn't say anything. She just drops off the sandwich. What do you look like? Okay, I'm blondish, except I just had another surgery, so they had to shave my head again. <laughs> I'm almost four foot six if I'm out of the chair. I have a nice smile and I weigh quite a bit. I can't exercise because of my disability, so it makes it hard for me to lose weight. Hello? Hello? I'm here. Please, Jesus, don't let him leave. What, what sort of disability? Oh, thank you. I have a lot of things. Ludwig's angina, grommet. <laughs> <laughs> Pinwheel spine, cystic colitis. Oh, frowny face. Me sorry, that must stink. Me sorry. The colitis does, like a pig farm. Aww. It's a sloughing of the bowel walls that constantly excludes dead tissue, infection, blood, and feces into my protective undergarment. But it doesn't hurt, as I am numb from the tits. 
as I am numb from <laughs> as I am numb from the tits down. Aw. <laughs> from the tits down, so she can feel her tits at least. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much do your ball? How much do your balls weigh? Uh, so you can't feel nothing. Not really. Oh. I I can feel heavy pressure. What size bra do you wear? <laughs> I don't <laughs> wear a bra, silly. Not with all this equipment hooked up to me. <laughs> Then if you did sexy. Oh, it would be like four, 34 degrees. Wait, it would be like 34C. <laughs> it's not degrees. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 it's nice. fucking so, Celsius. Is, that's how people write Celsius. I saw 34C for 34 Celsius. Fuck. All right. Mm, nice. Maybe 36. Nice. Yeah, well... You have to understand, I weigh near 260 pounds because I can't exercise. Mm, I see. But my mum says that I look like a chubby Priscilla Presley. Aw. Stop saying aw. It's fucking patronizing. I don't need your pity. Sorry. I can still suck the meanest dick in 10 counties. (laughs) Mm, Nice. Ever notice how fatties like me can always suck tremendous cock? Will you suck mine, baby? Mine's never been sucked. Cry face, cry face about Oh, wow. He's he's never his dick sucked. Yeah, you're right. Mm Mm-hmm. You never answered me about your balls. I don't know how much they weigh. Guess. I have no clue. I'm sorry. I had a teacher who could teabag himself. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> Impressive. He put his ear. He put his knees at his ears and drop his big saggy gray haired egg, egg bag right into his mouth. What school do you go to? I'm in college. Really? That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you like college guys? <laughs> Winky face emoji. I wish I was going to live till college. <laughs> Bad face. <laughs> That's so sad. It's like a make a wish bait. <laughs> Child is like. Uh, I, I, wish, I wish I could live past this year. I love college guys. Aww. Fucking knock it off. Why do you say that, baby? Is that true, frowny face? (sighs) Because no one with CCC, chronic cystic colitis, and pinwheel spine combined ever live past three years of diagnosis. I've fought my disease for almost two. I just want someone to love me before I go. In all ways. I see. What college do you go to? Where are you from? Las Vegas. Damn. What college do you go to? A very small one in Vermont. I like how also he's just like trying to dox this guy in the middle of this. Like, where do you yeah, study? Where do you yeah, study? Where yeah, do you yeah. study? What's your name? How old are you? He was he was doing it with the last guy as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, What's a very called? small one in Vermont. You wouldn't know it. I went to Brattleboro once. It's really, really small. What's it called? It's outside of Brattleboro. <laughs> He's just not saying it. What's it called? The one, the next town over. What's it called? It's called Landmark College. <laughs> Finally, uh-huh. we got it. Out of yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Like insulting you. him after he said, yeah, Kissy face. <laughs> insulting him. Yeah. Insulting him after he said like six times it was a really small one. Shout out to anyone going to Landmark College, I guess, if it still exists 22 oh, years later. Yeah. In Brad- Shout out. Next to Brattleboro in Vermont, I guess. Um, hey, let us know if you're listening from <laughs> Landmark College. And do you know a Dan? Or 
Yes, Dan that lived there <laughs> 20 years ago, who was kind of yeah, creepy he, around is he girls. From your alma mater, <laughs> is he in your alma mater from like 20 oh, years? It would ago. be funny if they found his yearbook photo. Told um, ya. No, that's me. Told ya. Kissy oh. face. It must be really small. Yeah, very very small. Like your cock. Frowny face. Hey, that's not nice. Frowny face. Uh, shock face, <laughs> surprise face. Okay, so somebody in chat just looked up the landmark college. It's for special students. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. It says the college for students who quote unquote learn differently. Dyslexia, ADHD, oh, autism, no. executive function challenges. <laughs> He's retarded. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he's still a he's still a pedophile, but. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. we're inclusive here, you know. Disabled people can be creeps too. Uh, anyway, that's not nice, frowny face. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Uh, this, uh, sh yeah, shocked face. This next line is definitely giving me uh, landmark college vibes. Me big. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, did you get the poot, the pooth faced, the toothpaste and funnel and stuff? Uh, no, I need sex, frowny face. I, not even frowny, that's like a crying face. I need sex, crying face. He's good at the pity, he's done like six crying faces. Well, what do you think all that stuff is for? Baking a fucking cake? Uh, I need real sex. I could come visit you. I wish. Make a wish says they'll bring me anywhere I want to go. <laughs> then you could fuck me like I want to be fucked. What do you like? Uh, anything? I don't know. Anything? Great. Well, to an extent. Do you like anal? Never done it, but I want to. Would you like to pork me asswise? Mm, yes. Tell me how you'd do it. I'll tell you if you fuck up or do something gay. I, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> wow. You really can't cyber at all, huh? I can. It, it just, well, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not in the mood or something. What? Oh, wow. He's <laughs> he lost his boner. Yeah, was it because she's, like, she's saying she's going she's gonna to die and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> kind of a mood killer. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe he's got a little bit of empathy left in him. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Cyber on Wheel says, You don't know what, asshole. Well, thank you very goddamn much. Well, which is weird, because that's never happened before. Sorry. I have maybe eight months to live, and you waste a whole hour of my night, where I plan on cybering to make the pain go away, and you are not in the fucking mood? Not in the mood? Uh, want me to do it? Fine. No, <laughs> actually, he's not getting cyber raped now. Yeah, yeah, now I feel bad. He's kind of like... <laughs> if this guy's like, uh, you know, sp special, let's say. <laughs> this feels kind of Window mean. licker, I think is the medical term. He wears a helmet. You take your cock out right now. Uh... I would start by taking off your pants. Okay, now we're cooking. Go! More! Eat my ass! Then I would kiss you passionately on the lips. Mmm. Fuck the gay <laughs> shit! Eat my ass! Get in there! I would slide my tongue in and move it around and around while I rub your pussy. Oh, yes. I am sl sl what? Slouching? Slothing? Slouching? Slouching? I don't know. I don't the walls know of her abdomen slouching. are coming out her asshole, I think, is what, what that means. Okay. Yuck. Uh, I slide my tongue in deeper and move it in and out. I need your ass. Oh, God. My bowel walls are liquefying and pouring out <laughs> over your tongue. I rub your pussy. I take my pants off. 
This is so gross. It is getting grosser every single time. All of my breakfast is now acrid sewage bubbling out of my ass. Take him off. And I slide my hand, my heart cock out. <laughs> Come on, Dan. I want to see that cock. Eight inches. Do you like that, baby? Where do you want it? Oh, I want you to fuck one of my folds since my <laughs> pussy is like the heel of your foot from years in a chair. Pull up a big flap of my fat under my arm and fuck me near where the air hose goes in. Mmm. <laughs> I'm so hard. Do you want to suck it? I feel like he's actually sitting there, like slouched over and depressed and soft. He's yeah, doing this like all for this dying child. Like, yeah. He, okay, he I guess I'll like humor he's her. Helping. <laughs> yeah, it's like that episode in the house uh, where fucking what's his name? Uh, Ch- Chase uh, kisses the dying cat. Oh adventure. yeah, yeah, and everybody makes yeah, fun of him. It's like that. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, do you want to suck it? You can smell the foul breath of unwashed death in there, huh? Oh, I'm not much of a sucker, since I have no lower jaw. But <laughs> but it could bump it. Wait. Put, Drink. <laughs> it's like a bingo what? game of when is the lower jaw going to be mentioned? <laughs> put, put it. could. I, I, I'm just going to read it how it is. Put it could bump in my with my head. Would you like that? Don't go. I'm almost there. One last thing and I can come. Mm. Oh, please, Jesus, don't let Dan walk out of my life until I come. And then, oh, you're back. Yeah. Uh, What do you want me to do? Okay. I'm almost ready. Just reach under the blubber roll by my crutch and lift it up. Wipe the stink tears away on your shirt sleeves like my nursemaid does. Sweet single guy 18 has disconnected. And then Cyber finishes by saying, one sentence short of the surprise cock. Yeah. I wonder if you this guy to this day out. thinks that he like ghosted an actual on the deathbed girl. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I bet. Oh, man. <laughs> wait, wait, how did this start? Is 19 too young? It is when your name says you're 18. Oh, no. He is a creep um, because the girl, I think in this character, wait, he... he's pretending to be 12 or something. Wait, was an age ever given? Not in this chat log, but I mean, Cyber on Wheels is supposed to be a child, obviously, I think. Um, yeah. It was great. I love that yeah. people found the fucking college. <laughs> and apparently Bill Cosby's son goes to this college. <laughs> still? <laughs> I don't know if they still go, no. It's his alumni. So I guess he graduated. How do you kind graduate of, sort of? from it? Yeah. How do you I don't graduate? know. Don't talk to children online. What is it like a degree? A degree from Landmark College actually mean though? Like, because you know it co- would come from a school. Like, employees would know it would come from a school that is for like, you know, uh, special students. So is I that guess actually it means like, like you can still function normally in day to day life. Like, yeah, you're not I you're guess. not never gonna be making breakthroughs in physics, but you can still hold a wrench. That's what I would assume it means. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, let's do one uh, more. Okay, let's do... Actually, I think it's your turn to pick, isn't it? Uh, let's do rent money. Okay. Uh, I'll be just being Joel. Wait, was I... Okay. No, I was I was the decoy last time, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this is from the 31st of May, 2001, and it just says, don't drink the beer. All right. Hey. It's me again. Hi. You still busy? I was cybering with this guy, but he's really bad at it, and I may dump him, so hold on. K. Not the Ks again. I don't want to do Ks. I know. In the meantime, tell me about yourself and start jacking off. I would love to do that, jack off, but I'm at work, so it might be a little difficult. But I'll tell you about myself. Okay. I'm 40, six Uh, foot, brown hair, blue eyes, 200 pounds, nice body, cute ass. How about you? Okay, this guy's 40. I don't feel bad anymore. I am 13, four foot nine, 85 pounds, crew cut, big tits. 
Oh, I like big tits. How long have you been a horny little girl? Ugh. I started sucking dicks at 10, but didn't get into intercourse till 12. At 10? Wow, you must be good at it by now. Why'd you start then? Because we were getting evicted and Mr. Swanson wasn't interested in my mother. Mm, So he wanted you instead. She was all cruddy with the HIV at that point. Yeah, I was (laughs) the clean one. Yikes. Wow, yikes in fucking... What year was this? 2001? (laughs) Holy shit, trendsetter. Did it pay the rent? For a while. And then? My brother Teddy pays it now. He's only nine and it makes him cry real bad. So, you're at work? Who do you fuck now? Don't answer my questions with questions. It's rude. Sorry. Yeah, I'm at work. It makes it appear that you're ignoring me. What kind of work do you do? I'm not ignoring you. Work in a beer brewery. Wow, cool. And that's a cool emoji. I with think sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Fucking glasses. These emojis are so fucking old, by the way. Every time I, I see yeah. them, it's like a throwback. I think so. I love beer. Me too. In all caps, like a fucking... <laughs> like a fucking wine bum. <laughs> it makes all the pain like, oh disappear. My <laughs> Most of the time. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I just can't seem to keep a man. I get a boyfriend and as soon as he comes on me, he's gone. That's too bad. How often do you fuck? I don't got a lot of loving either. Sorry, I was taking a shit. I'm back. Uh, why do you get no love? <laughs> cool. Not sure. My dick may be too small. <laughs> I love small cocks. <laughs> this is such like fan service. I know. Really? Better than the big ones? Yeah, they're cute like trial-sized shampoos. That's true. Big ones hurt in my ass. I bet. Uh, They make me all bleedy. How small is it? (laughs) Maybe uh, six inches. What a lying piece of shit. Oh, yeah, my dick is so small. Above average. You know, just tiny, teeny tiny. Uh, The average is 5.5, by the way, just so everyone knows. That's not really... That's not small, really. Can you get it all in a 13-year-old girl's ass? If so, it's average. Not sure. Never tried. Poor guy. No ass love for Sam Adams? What kind of beer do you make? (laughs) Miller Products. There we go. uh, uh, Boycott Miller Products. What do they make? (laughs) Miller Lite, right? I have no idea. Do you actually make it or just market it? No, it's it's in the brewery, so we make it. Ever piss in the vat? Lol, thought about it, but uh, never have. Take a shit in the malt liquor to get back at the colored guy who beat you up in high school? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Why do you think older guys cyber better? That's such an awkward, That's funny. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> because all young guys say is, I want to suck your tits. And then they toss gunk before the bait is any good. <laughs> what do you like men to do to you? Young guys, I meant to say. I got that. I like it when a guy holds my head underwater while he does me from behind, like in front of the toilet. That's cool. Kind of exciting. I learned that from. Once when I got raped at the toilet at the Vineland, Vinland <laughs> City Park. <laughs> well, that's a hard way to learn something. I was working a double, working glory holes in the East John when a couple gang members came in. Oh, I see. Good thing they... <laughs> they <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you didn't drown. <laughs> 
They didn't even flush the toilet first. It was full of thick scat water. Ugh, that's pretty skanky. I know rape is a crime of violence and not sex, but I came like a hungry dog to a whistle. <laughs> you are a, you are hilarious. What's your f- What's your profile mean about being a southern boy too close to the Mason Dixon? I live in the north, should be back in the south. We're in the north. We're in the south. DC, GA, Georgia. Wow. Were you ever turned on by hillbillies? Turned out. I don't know if that makes a difference. Like turned out by out, hillbillies? Maybe? Sorry. I don't know. I am a hillbilly. I was in deliverance. Do you have like teeth and stuff? Mm, most all of them. How big are your tits? 32B and growing. Cool. Nice nipples. How big is your cock? <laughs> six inches and growing. Wait, didn't he already say six inches? He said it's small, yeah. Uh, winky face. No, he said six inches because we made, we, we, we said 5.5 is the average. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Uh, like tongue out emoji face. Where are you? Are you dying? Are you okay? You sound like a throw. I have fucking like, yeah, I have like heartburn. I don't know. Take some baking Continue. soda. Uh, Vegas mm. City. Uh, sorry, Vegas. Sin City. Awesome. Want a cyber? I might. Could play a bit. You sure you're 13? <laughs> he wants proof. <laughs> he's like, I don't know if you get 13. <laughs> Gonna need to see your library card. Yeah, he's a little too articulate. I don't want to get you in trouble at work. I'll worry about that. Oh, yep. I'm 14 in two weeks. So, all these things are true you've been telling me? Why would I make stuff like that up? Uh, who would make <laughs> stuff like that up? Which is funny because <laughs> it, it is all made up. Um, you've got a point there. I've never thought about fucking a 13 year old. Mm. Well, you sure. must have got lucky. Instant messaging me like uh, instant messaging me then. It appears that way. What day is your birthday? June twelfth. Mine's the thirteenth. No kidding. For real. Cool. Back at you. Do you have a picture of you that I could uh, see? I can't believe you're from Georgia and you've never fucked a thirteen-year-old. Lol. No pick. Frowny face. Oh, well, that's okay. You ever fucked a 40-year-old? Uh, 69-year-old? No way. 59, I mean. Fuck, I can't type today. Yes. Oh, but still, 59. Amazing. He was. Safe for the smell. Cool. Did he lick your sweet little pussy? Ew. Uh, he was disabled, but he tried his best. <laughs> You're killing me. What's funny about that? You're a sicko. Me? Okay, so I am. You should write books. You have great stories. I have a good sense of humor, but laughing at cripples isn't funny. I wasn't laughing at him being crippled. I was laughing at the mental image I saw of him and you. Why were you fucking a 59-year-old cripple guy? I, I told you, rent! Mr. Swanson, laugh it up, jerk. Oh, that's the same one? Sorry, no more cripple laughing. You're no different than the rest of them. Contraire. <laughs> <laughs> Au contraire, I'm very different. Do you still have to fuck for rent? It's not funny. Once his colostomy bag burst when he was on top Ugh. of me and it got all in my eyes. And no, I told you, my brother is doing it now. You don't even listen to me. Not many 13-year-olds know what a colostomy bag is. I listen. <laughs> 
his instincts are telling him that this is obviously not a child, but he can't help himself. He, still, <laughs> he needs it. Uh, you do when you you do when one blows up in your face. You learn real quick. I guess so. Can I come live with you? <laughs> I would. <laughs> a little a random. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That is such a funny request. I would be put in jail. I would say that you're my Uncle Joel. Hmm. That might work. (laughs) And that we don't have sex. That you just beat off on my ass. That's not as much fun as sex. You could show me how good you are at sucking dicks. Oh, no. We'd have sex. But I would tell the authorities that it was strictly masturbatory. Oh, oh, cool. Will that keep me out of jail? (laughs) I'm no attorney, but I think so. So I would get my dick sucked? Sure, and finger your ass at the same time. Soft knuckle your prostate till you come up poopy. Yum. (laughs) What would I do for you? Like I always say, you haven't really blown a load till someone's got corn under their fingernail. Oh, Actually, Christ. Dave Fulton said that, but whatever. <laughs> Funny. What would you do for me? Um, feed and clothe me? Show me a world outside <laughs> of this desert bunker of rape, beanie weenies, and cruel <laughs> abandonments? We could do a phoner if you want. Are you still there? I'm here. Someone came in my office. Oh, okay. A phone might be nice. What's your number? I can make you come in 90 seconds. I can't let you call me here. I'll call you. 90 seconds. That's the longest I've ever lasted. Hey. <laughs> Smiley face. But you can't call me. My stepfather will pick up the phone downstairs and then I'd be in a world of hurt. Okay, don't want to get you in trouble. If I had a dollar, for every time he stuck a curling iron in my ass, I'd have that money and go play bingo. Ouch. So you want me to call you at home later? Not a good idea either. Why? Are you married? No, I have roommates. Two lesbians I share a condo with. Wow. Do you ever get to see them gouge each other's hair clamps? Now that's something I could jack off to. I can hear them sometimes, and I've asked them if I could watch or join in. I'm gonna like living with you. It depends on how drunk they are. Sometimes they let me. Neat! Do you know where the bus station is near you? (laughs) Such an obvious question to docs, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Fuck, where was I? One of them is really hot. The other, not so much. Not sure. Uh, I have Greyhound on the phone. (laughs) One way, take it to Muffville. (laughs) Muffville? Is that a district of Columbia or Maryland? That's at the Y. They say they don't, they don't go there. A lot of people don't. The ticket is $121 to DC. I will take it out of my stepfather's meth money, and you can pay me back when I get there. I'm <laughs> actually a 14-year-old boy who lives with my parents. <laughs> That's not funny. It wasn't meant to be funny. Well, where will I live? I can keep you in my room, but you'd have to be really quiet when we fuck. Okay. Who will bring me free beer from work? (laughs) We can steal it from the fridge in the basement. Okay. Who will take my cock into his mouth and ass anytime I feel unwanted? You? How sweet. Who will lay naked on the cold cement floor strewn with pushpins while I squat over him? Fat. White. Harry asked, and void of the concerns, and void the contents of my colon over his baby rapist face while my aging scrotum hangs down his chin. 
You? And then disconnection. <laughs> do you think that was actually a 14-year-old boy or do you think it was like he, he, he like pivoted to that when he realized finally that this was not a 12-year-old 12, 12 girl? <clears throat> hmm. I mean, it's beginning possible it was I'm a 14-year-old 40. boy. Well, yeah, it's definitely possible. But it also sounds just like a cop-out. I would say like maybe 18, 19-year-old boy who also still just lives at home. No, don't come. I'm a child. I'm a teenager. I'm cringe. Yeah, I'm sure don't that, come. So I'm, I'm sure there's like plenty of like 14-year-old boys that go on like, well, at this time, would go on chat chat sites and troll as yeah. like older people, you know. So just I think it's cyber possible, sex. But it is, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Alrighty, that's going to do it. I need to get to bed. Okay. What time Alrighty, is it there? Thank you, guys. It's fucking 6 a.m. Jesus. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for listening to Criminally Stupid. Let us know your thoughts on this episode. We're going to shake up the format in the future, I think, on the show mm-hmm. in general. I think... I was talking to you about it, but I think I want to do like um, just criminals in general. You know, let's maybe spice I it also up a do little bit just, and just like, yeah. I just don't want an actual true crime show. I want it to keep it lighthearted. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the the criminals in question have to be like actually stupid fucking idiots mm-hmm. so that the name makes sense, and there has to yeah. be some element there where, that we can actually laugh at it. Mm-hmm. Anyway. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Let us know your thoughts below. If you like this episode, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time whenever the next episode comes out. And let us know if you know anybody in Landmark College. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>